Hello and thanks for watching. This will be a quick video on helping you use the steering wheel in Solid Edge with synchronous technology. As most of you probably already know, if you click an individual face in a Solid Edge model that was made in the synchronous environment, uh, you'll get your 1D primary axis which lets you push and pull that face. We're not only limited to pushing and pulling faces, we can actually use our steering wheel to rotate more than one face or feature of a model, even actually an entire uh, assembly or sub-assembly. At this point, if I move my steering wheel to my center axis of this part, very quickly you can see that I can rotate the entire right side of this model uh, approximately 90 degrees here. At this point, I'll actually open up another model to explain a little more in depth the functionality of the steering wheel. So again, if I click a single face with my 1D primary axis, I can push and pull an, in, an individual face. If I click my origin now began of my steering wheel, I'll get my full 3D steering wheel as you see here. Now just to explain, uh, this wheel on my steering wheel is called the torus. My primary axis is the longer one and my secondary axis is the shorter one. The four knobs on my wheel are the torus knobs and on my primary axis I have a bearing, my primary bearing and on my secondary axis I have my secondary bearing. If I click my origin knob of my steering wheel, all of the axes and the torus will actually try to orient uh, according to which key point I am locating. So for example, if I place my steering wheel here, I can begin rotating this face up or down about that axis. Now let's say I needed to rotate about a different axis. If this uh, new axis is the same as my primary axis, I can click my secondary bearing and rotate my torus about that primary axis. As you see here, it'll snap to 90 degrees. Now let's say I actually needed to rotate my torus about an axis that is not that primary axis, if I hold my shift key and click that center blue plane in my steering wheel, you can see that my torus will actually rotate accordingly. And now I can rotate that face about this new axis that I have just defined. Uh, at this point I'll mention that if we hold the shift key while clicking our origin knob of our steering wheel, everything will maintain its uh, current orientation. So as you can see here, if I hover around my model, my axes and my entire steering wheel is maintaining its orientation. And I can even drag this off, uh, off in space if I needed to. Let's say just do a simple push or pull. My steering wheel doesn't need to physically be on my model uh, to get that. And that's about it. Hopefully this clears up any issues with using the steering wheel in synchronous technology.